Yeah. I had two up. questions. You want to go? No, I just want to know how many left. You could have known that easily. I was pressing the buzzer. Oh. Welcome to the show that makes more crush bang wallop than the 746 bus. That time it took a wrong turn down Bridge Street. It's Albert Squared! Yeah. And this time. It's boys versus girls. Yes. Come on, boys. Yeah. So play nice, guys. Right. Let's meet our teams. To my right, the captain of the boys. It's the one and only Max Bowden. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Well, on my team today, I feel very, very privileged to have two strapping young gentlemen. See what I did there, Roger? Straight in with the age. Mm -hmm. yeah, That's yeah, imperative. Nice, nice, nice. So uh, the ugliest man in show business, you've got Bobby Brazier. Come oh, on, Bob. Welcome to the show, Bob. Thank you, thank you. And an absolute icon of A EastEnders, yeah. Mr. Roger Griffith. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, you very much. Thank, you very much. thank you, thank you. Strong team. Right, let's meet the girls. It's the captain of the East End Defenders. It's the one and only Danielle Harold. Right, and to my right, I have the lovely Sarah Abraham. Yes, yes Sarah. And to my left, my secret weapon, Claire Norris. Yes, yeah, Hello, Claire. Great work, strong teams. I've got a feeling this is going to be a good round. We're going to go into our quick fire quiz. Of course, sponsored by the one and only, our furry friend. It's the well hard round! Yeah. yeah, it is. Are we ready? Yeah. Fingers on buzzers, yeah? Oh. Question number one. Where did the Butcher and Evans family go on holiday in an EastEnders special episode? Was it A, Spain, B, France, or C, Portugal? Max Bowden. I think we're going to go Spain. This was my call, by the way. No, don't say that. No, you can say that. No, maybe you... So this is Bobby's answer. Yeah. It's, it's the right answer! <laughs> I said that before he come up as well. He knows what he's doing, <laughs> the Brazier. Right, question number two. Well done, Bob. What was the occupation of Bianca Butcher's partner, Terry Spraggan? I'm not sure that's how you say his surname. <laughs> no, but right, say like it again Spraggan. just as you did it. Spraggan. Yeah, very good. <laughs> a, builder. B, police officer. Or C, cabbie. Bobby. Cabby. Yes, Bobby! Oh, You're on fire! Hey, hey, he's giving it a He's giving it absolute beans. Hey, never beans. underestimate oh, no. Bobby Brazier. I've said it from the beginning. The guy's fire. <laughs> Not fire finger, they call him. <laughs> Not sure where, but they, they, I've heard. Right, question number three. <laughs> Are you all right? Still aware Already, of you've got a nickname. You've only answered two questions. How many have we got left? So I can just calculate. Questions. Yeah. You've had two questions. Do you want to go? No, I just no, want to know how many left. Left. So I know how many points I'm going to be. For the whole show. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I want to do mental math. Stop talking. Yeah, but that doesn't get you very far. You've had two questions. Yeah. It's a 12 question round. Right. right. Okay, question number three. Who had a romance with Italian exchange student Enrico De Clemente? <laughs> <laughs> right. Was it A, Sonia Jackson, B, Nikki DeMarco? Or C, Sharon Mitchell. Ah, Zara. <laughs> I want to say, Ooh. I'm going to say. Yeah. Sorry, have you got. A, B, B. <laughs> Sorry, B. Nikki, I didn't even Nikki, what you said, Nikki B. DeMarco. Yes. <laughs> that is the wrong answer. Oh. It's not Nikki DeMarco. So, Bobby, you, I mean, it's the whole team can chat. It's either Sonia Jackson or Sharon Mitchell. You can answer, but I think I would go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bobby, you A. stick with your. Oh, so you've gone against your captain. A. And it's the right thing to do because it's the right answer. Give me some of that, baby. A. Fire <laughs> fingers strikes again. That's three out of three. Well done. His maths is good as well. Okay. I put some money on Bobby. That's all I'm saying. I, I backed him. Oh, so you were angry, but now. No, I was cross. You were How cross. How can you be Actually, cross with Bobby Brazier? No, it's fine. Easy. Look at his face. No, yeah, do look right. at his face. Right. Not for too right. long, because I find that I can't <laughs> stop. Yeah. Question four. How much are a portion of cheesy chips from McClunkies? Is it A, £1.50, B, £2, or C, £2.50? We'll go £2.50. Clearly never had cheesy chips from McClunkies. It's the wrong answer. 
one. You clearly have. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you haven't. It's not the oh. two pounds. <laughs> OK, question number five. <laughs> what classic board game did Bernie and Ted form of a friendship over? Chess. Oh. It's a matter you not... Oh, I actually pressed it, but it didn't work. Oh. Well, no, because he, he would have pushed that... Oh, yeah, I'm just really sooner. invested in Bernie. I was waiting for the options as well. It's the right answer! Come on! <laughs> of course it's the right answer. You need answer. to be polite here, Clay. Yeah, Bernie and Ted loved a game of chess. I'm... They did. Is that 4-0? I still don't know that was Shush! Wrong, right? no, Question number six. In what year did Sharon and Grant tie the knot? <gasps> was it 1988? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> 1991? Or 2002? Max Bowden. 1991. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one, baby. It's the right answer! Of course it was 1991. It's getting boring now, girls. Is it? Oh, Oi, Bob, right. don't say that. We're don't. still on camera. Watch now at the end. I'm going to get them to replay that clip back to you at the end, yeah? How can I serve you, Bobby? What can I, what can I do to spice it up for you? It's a little bit of competition. Right, question number seven. Who faked their own death in 2014, even staging a fake funeral for themselves? Was it A, Nick Cotton, B, Phil Mitchell, or C, Johnny Allen? Bobby. Johnny Allen. Oh, Bobby, he's come to an end. It's the wrong answer, unfortunately. Oh, thank you. Just take your time, Bree. Can we have the options again? You can. It's either Nick Cotton or Phil no, no. Mitchell. Oh, Nick. Yeah, Nick. Nick. Nick Cotton is the right answer. Of course it was Nick Cotton. Of course it was. You wait till we get home. Question number eight. <laughs> what was the first thing Kathy said when she came back from the dead in 2015? Oh. Did she say, I'm alive? A, oh. Put the kettle on. B, Ian, it was me, or C, hello, Phil. Oh, Danielle. Hello, Phil. It was hello, hello Phil. Phil. Yeah. And it was probably the impression yeah. that sold it. it Question number nine. What item of jewellery was gifted to Chelsea from Grey Christmas Eve 2021? It's a puzzle. You don't get any. I oh, know. I want the they exact were... wording. Okay, they you were, were blue. All right, okay. Emerald diamond earrings. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. Yay. They have to. Okay, well, so a pair of earrings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll yeah, take so that. that's all you wanted, was it? Just a pair of earrings. So do we get an extra point for describing? No, but you do get a bonus point for telling me why they were so important. Because they belonged to the uh, wife that he previously killed. Which her name was? Her name was Jessica Plummer in real life, but Chantel oh. as a character. Extra Thank point, you. though. Yes! <laughs> You don't have to give me like loads and loads. Right? What's going on here? You're right, Bobby. Hey, hey, hey. It's not a character. That's her character. Good, good knowledge of her own character. Her own character, yeah. Right. That's her own character. Question 10. Does it matter? Oh, it's it's right. all about these senses, hey, babe. Hey, buddy, buddy. <laughs> buddy, buddy. In through the nose, out through the mouth. We practiced this. Come on. Here we go. Nah, nah. Question number 10. Who am I, yeah? Mm -hmm. I have one child. I left the square to move to Newcastle in 20... That's me! That's Danielle me. Harold. That's, uh, yeah, who that's am it. I? Me, Lola. <laughs> Lola, yeah. I, sometimes I, I think you forget who you're playing. Yes, it's me. Lola, Lola is the correct me. answer. Woo! Well done. You got that after two pretty vague clues, so good. Well done. No one else goes to Newcastle, I don't hmm. I don't know. So you could have known that easily. I yeah. was <laughs> pressing the buzzer, Bobby. Oh, I was trying to... Oh, don't, hey, don't break down this side of the wall. This is your... Question 11. Yeah. This is the picture round. So on your screens will appear a picture. Now. Ben Mitchell. That's not fair. <laughs> Why is that not fair? Where'd it I'm telling you, it is. Oh, as soon as the picture's up... You know, look it, at this favouritism. I didn't even ask the question. They might give him double points. Let him have it. Let him have the point. But is he right first? You want to win by, hmm. by cheating? Have the point. If, if what... That's a big one. Max has That's said is what I've got written on this card. Bearing in mind, he didn't even know the question. It's him! Well, it's something about mixing the genders. I don't think we're going to do this again. <laughs> There's some serious aggression. Like, I think we need to just all come together. Yeah. 
Now I'm just just have a look at it. Can we just have a point? Can we have a go? Of course it's the right answer. It's Ben Mitchell. OK, question number 12. This is the final question of the Wellard round, OK? Yeah. And this is where we ask you, lovely lot, who's more likely to be Mayor of Walford? It's a good question. Did most people vote for Sonia or Martin? Danielle. No offence, I'd go Sonia. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Martin has no, got very few he's, he's leadership green. He skills. Knows it's him. That's he's not his so bag. Loud. He's not a leader. Him. He's a man of the people. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been told. Go, Sonia. Sonia. It's the right answer. Yes, of course it's Sonia. I'd vote for her. Who wouldn't? Yeah. I'd vote. Guys, that's the end of the well Wellard round. <laughs> so we move into our next game. Okay. It's a new game. It's called. Proper ballers. Woo! One player per team will go head to head in the pearly pit to become a proper baller. Hidden amongst the balls are a number of famous EastEnders props. We'll give you clues, and all you need to do is find the props. Sound simple? Yes. Just got to root around in my balls and uh, find the props, yeah? What a treat. So, Bobby, right Zara, you. you're in position, you're ready to go. Yeah. Right, there's going to be one minute 30 on the clock, yeah. OK? Each prop is worth three points. Oh, my right. days. So, it's a big round, Sorry. OK? Well, big okay. round. Um, they're going to potentially be some red herrings in there, so if it's not the answer to the clue, just chuck them back in the balls and carry on looking, yeah? Okay. Lovely. There's, uh, how many balls do you reckon are in that pit? I reckon 6,000. They're really. exactly 6,000. <laughs> he does not get a point. And I spent all morning counting them. So that amongst the 6,000 balls, there is one very extra special ball. Oh. Is it? Is it Phil's? <laughs> it's the Jimmy ball. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You get 10 points if you find Jimmy. Shut up, that's extreme. <laughs> OK, you're in position. I'll climb get down now. on your knees. Right. So there's snakes in there. We've got um, baby snakes. crocodiles. No, 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 I'm not. Now, what are those spitting cobras? That's it, yeah. Just, just two or three in there. So just beware of them. Right, OK. Three, two, one. The tool Ben Mitchell hit Jordan Johnson with. Banner. You find it in the You need Spanner. smacking it out. Right, I'm going to give you another clue. Right, Jim Branning. Yeah, look, listen, listen, Jim. Another clue. Another clue. Jim Branning. Right, right to boxing gloves. Um, what did Steve Owen kill Saskia with? A pen. No, you need to find. Chuck it out. Chuck it out. Well done. Chuck the box and right, Bobby, you need two of them. You've got, you're looking Bobby, for an ashtray. Bobby, Bobby, look behind you. Behind you. Behind you. Behind you. Right, now you've got to look for Max, guys, a cookware item. A cookware item. Get it. 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 Something the Sud Ahmed would have used in his job. What? Post back. Post back. Get the pans in front of your boat. Bobby, get the frying pan. Get the pans. Oh, do not. It's fucking great. Get the pans. Get the pans. Favorite clothing item. West Ham. West Ham car. We've got a pan. Bobby, the frying pan. Nine. The frying pan. It's in the corner, Bobby. It's in the corner. Six. Five. Four. Three. It's in the corner, Bobby. It's in the corner. Right. That's the end! Nice. Well done, guys. Bobby, Zara, come back and join your teams. We are going to watch some of them highlights. How do you feel that all went? Hot. You're hot. Yeah, it looks Slightly energetic. Injured. You're, You're injured. injured. <laughs> but the scores are in. OK. So with seven and a half points... What? The East End Defenders! Woo! Yeah, so you got the scarf, yeah. you got the bag, and you got one of the boxing gloves. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's seven and a half points, OK? Yes. Wolford Warriors, mm -hmm. you got 
the spanner, Bang. the ashtray, Bang. and one of the boxing gloves. You and also got seven and, and a half points. Boys, boys, we'll take that. We'll listen. Yeah. Yeah. We're going into the round. I thought you did really well. But that means you're neck and neck going into the final round. The E emoji round. On your screens, there's going to be a set of emojis, right? And they're going to spell out an EastEnders yes. character, OK? So, for example, we're going to have a dot and a reel of cotton, which is Bob? Not cotton, please. No, it was, it was Phil Mitchell. Right. Well. Are you ready? Come on, ready. Boys. This ready. is important, guys, because it's neck and neck-ish, yeah. and um, you're all going to need these points. Thank you. Ish. Well, I don't need that, Scott. Thank you. <laughs> That's not my job. Right, OK. Right. Are we ready? Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one. Yes. Gene Slater. The correct answer. Yeah. Well done. I'm proud of you. <sighs> Did you know that one? Three, two, one. Sushi. That's the wrong Soup. answer. Soup. It's the wrong answer. You guys, go on. You've got a bit of time. I said sushi. <gasps> No, 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 you're out, you're Why? out. Oh. Yes. Suki Panasar. No, it's... Right, it's, it's it Stuart Highway. Stuart Highway. Oh, it was. Where's Stu the point? Art. Yeah. Art. Yeah. Motorway, it's there. Yeah. Okay, come on. <laughs> Three, two, one. Jack. Something Jackson. Go on. Something Jackson. Um, Angela Jackson and... and no. uh, excuse and, me! Uh, 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 Jackson, oh, Jackson, oh, Jackson. Oh, it. Was it Claire Harrell Jackson? It oh, is yeah. Carol Jackson! Yes. Of course it is. The angel, the music, she Carol. Well done. This is great, well guys. Done. Jackson, very good. Easy, right. Three, two, one. Tony King. Tony oh. King is the oh. correct answer. Oh. Well done. Well done. Is this the last one? Three, two, one. Oh my God. That's the same Tony one. King. Tyler no, Moon. No. <laughs> Come on. Tyler Moon is the right answer. <laughs> right, guys, that brings us to the end of the e emoji round and the end of the show. Ooh, Let's find out what the scores are. Yeah. OK, so. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. Now, obviously, on Albert Square, <laughs> we square the points with 240.25. Is <laughs> both of you? It's a tie. Oh, no, no. And I have a tiebreaker. Right. I am going to read out a question. Yeah. Closest one to the answer will be this episode's winner. No fighting. Shout out. So here's the question: How many duftus? Phil Mitchell. Has Phil Mitchell. Oh, I, 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 I oh, know. I could get it within ten. Answer, answer. Discuss. Okay. I'm, pr I'm pretty confident on right, this. Right, write it down on that in big, so I can you yep. just hold it up. Right. Yeah. Here you go, guys. Thank you. I'm gonna go. Write it down. Write it down. Write it down. The Walford Warriors. You are gonna show us your answer. So I've gone. For about a 10% duff duff ratio on Steve McFadden's episodes. He's done over 3,000 and he's had about 20 this year, so I've gone for 344. Four. Okay. Oh. Steve <laughs> McFadden has played Phil Mitchell in how, over 3,000 episodes. Over 3,000 so. episodes. I like your percentage use there. Team East End Defenders. We would like to honour Phil Mitchell. Yeah, in the way he should be. In the way he should be, and if he hasn't, he should have had this amount. Yeah. That's what we're going with. Okay. Wow. 2,000. Wow. You thought <laughs> he had to, what, so half, wow. half of the episodes ever on EastEnders, nearly, yeah. you thought Phil had, he, he wasn't in it for five life. years. Let's put this to bed, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Phil Mitchell, our very own Steve McFadden, has had 334 duff duffs. <laughs> this week's winner. <laughs> Are the Walford Warriors! <laughs> that is the end of the show. See you next time. Ta da! <laughs>
It's the wrong answer. Oh, you idiot. Lynn oh. wants to get in the pub as well. Come on. You got some really sad people on your <laughs> panel. <laughs> they don't call me this detail for no reason. <laughs>